this is Sharon Ngurove and this is yet another video and in this video I'm looking at division and multiplication of decimals. If you remember in my previous video I was looking at addition and subtraction of number decimals so this is just a continuation of that video. So if you never watched that video I'll make sure that I put the, the link in the description below this video so that you can have access to that video. So uh, for example if you have been given um, 13.75 multiplied by 5.5. So I'm going to begin with multiplication and then I go to division. Alright, so when you look at this number, this number is in horizontal form. So what you're supposed to do is you have to put it vertically in order for you to multiply it easily. So you're going to put your 13.75 there. And then the 5.5 there, put your multiplication sign there. So first of all, what you have to do is, when you're multiplying, you have to actually ignore the decimal point because um, uh, you, are going to, you are going to look at the decimal point later on. So first of all, you multiply just the way we usually do when you're multiplying any other numbers that do not have decimals. So even here, you just have to multiply. After you multiply, and then that is when you you have to to look at the decimal uh, decimal places. So when you look at this number, um, this number, if you remember in my previous video, I talked about the decimal places. I said the decimal places. Uh, these are actually the number of um, the number of digits um, that are after a decimal point on your right. So, when you look at this number, how many numbers do we have after the decimal point on the right? We actually have two numbers. This means that this number has got two decimal places. So, you can write your 2DP there, meaning decimal places. And this number on your right, after a decimal point, there's only one number. So, meaning this one has got one decimal place. So, all together, when you put all of them together, meaning you have 3DP, three decimal places. All right, so now you you come back to the decimal places later on. So what you just have to do now is to directly multiply uh, overlooking the decimal points. So we start multiplying. 5 multiplied by 5, it gives us, that is, um, is actually 25. So that's 25. The 5, which is at the end, is the one that you actually write here. Just the way we usually do our normal multiplication. So you write your 5 there, and the 2 is the one that you're going to carry to the next number, like that. Again, you multiply 5, multiply by 7, which gives you 35. So 35 plus the 1 that you cut, the 2 actually, that you carry plus 2, which gives you 37. So here 37, the 7, it is the one that you're going to write under here and this three it is the one that you're going to carry to the next number again you continue multiplication five multiplied by three which is 15 15 remember you carried a three there so you say 15 plus three that you carried it gives you 18 that eight it is the one that you're going to do what to put here and that one you carry it to the next number so now you multiply 5, multiply by 1, which gives you uh, 5. So here is your 5 plus the 1 that you carried, which gives you 6. So that 6, you write it there. You start multiplying the, the, uh, the second number. Okay, so this is the second number that you're multiplying. You do it the usual way. Whenever you're multiplying the chains, you always put a zero there. Okay, start multiplying now. Five multiplied by five, which gives you um, five multiplied by five gives you twenty-five. So that twenty-five, that five is the one that you're going to write down here. You write your five there. That two, you carry it to the next number. Two here. You carry your two there, okay? So again, you multiply five times seven. So what is five times seven? Five times seven is 35. So here is your 35. You carry the two, remember? So you say plus two, which gives you 37. That seven, it is the one that you're going to write here. 
and the three you carry it to the next number you write your three there okay so again you multiply five multiplied by three which is going to give us uh, 15 so 15 plus the three that you carried which gives us 18 so 18 the eight this one it is the one that you're going to do what to write here you write it under there and then the one you carry it to the next number all right, so here again you multiply 5 multiplied by 1, which is going to give us 5. So here is our 5 plus the 1, remember I carried the 1, which is going to give us 6. So here you write your 6 there. After I reach this stage, you, we usually add. It's just normal multiplication. You add there like that, uh, you put your addition sign. So now we start adding what is 5 plus 0. So 5 plus 0, the answer is 5. Now we come here, 7 plus 5. 7 plus 5, the answer is actually 12. So here is our 12. Um, the 12 here, the 2 is the one you are going to write there. The 1, we carry it to the next number. So here we are going to add 8 plus 7. 8 plus 7. 8 plus 7, the answer is 15. 15 plus the one that you carried, you get 16. So here is your 16. That 6 is the one you write there. And this one, you carry it to the next number. So this is how we go about it. Alright, so now we come here. Here you have 6 plus 8. What is 6 plus 8? 6 plus 8 is actually 14. 14 Remember, there is a 1 that you carried here, so when you add that 1 to 14, it gives you 15. So that 5, it is the 1 that you are going to write here, and the 1 you carry it to the next number. So 6 plus 0 there, there is nothing, the answer is 6, plus the 1 that you carried, your answer is 7. So here is your answer. Now, you haven't finished. There's something that you need to do. Remember, these are decimals. The numbers that you are multiplying had decimal. Uh, had decimal points. So what are you going to do? What you're going to do is you go back to the number of decimal places. Remember, we already counted the number of decimal places. We said right, going to the left. You move three decimal places. All right. So I uh, get a different marker. So what you use, you count there one, here two, here three. Meaning there, that is where they should be the decimal point so this means that our answer is going to be 75.625 that is our answer um uh, that we are going to get so now dividing okay with division suppose you are dividing this is how you can do it all right so i'll pick the same number in case you are dividing so this is what you can do um you can actually uh, uh, you can pick the same number one three point seven five divided by five point five. Okay, so this all right. So even dividing decimals is very simple. Okay, so just uh, see how I'm going to do it when you are dividing decimals. All right. So what you do first is. You actually introduce that sign so this is 5.5 why are we putting 5.5 here because this 5.5 is the one should go into that number all right so you put your 13.75 so this is how we usually set up our video what we are going to do is we are going to actually um, make our divisor okay our divisor, we need to make it into um, a whole number, all right? And it should not be a decimal number. It should not have less the, the divisor. It meaning we are going to move one decimal place, all right, going to the right, so that we make it into a whole number. So when we make this one a whole number, meaning even this one, um, uh, because we moved one decimal place for this number, even here we are going to move one decimal place. Okay, and then when we move one decimal place like that, 
and here we'll move one decimal place like that, meaning the decimal point should come there, and here the decimal point should come there. Our new uh, awakening is going to be like this. It will be here, 55, because the decimal point is there. We we'll moved it there, so it's now a whole number. There's no need of us putting a decimal point at the end there. And this will be 13, um, actually it will be 137, because the decimal point has moved there after 7. So you put your 7 there and you put your 5 there. Okay? So after you put this like that, uh, meaning this uh, decimal point, okay, should also be there. Alright? Meaning they should be in the same column. Okay? This is different with the way we multiply. Modern times can 55 go into... Um, into uh, uh, 137. So what we are simply start adding them. It's simpler this way. You remember when you have two digits number, you are dividing it into that. Sometimes you say, oh, two digits number. It just makes people to get confused and just just looking at the numbers that the number you are dividing. Your divisor is big. Is big. It actually has two digits. You actually think, think like it's actually so difficult, all right? But it's not difficult. What you can easily do when you have two-digit number as, uh, as, as your divisor, you just have to start working out like that. So 5 plus 5, that's 55. Again, 55 plus. So 5 plus 5 gives us 10. That is 0. You carry 1. 5 plus 5, 10 plus 1. Uh, that is 11. So that is 11, meaning here there are 2. 5, 55 can go into 110 two times. What number do we have? 137. Okay, let's try one more. So here we try again uh, 55 plus. So 0 plus 5 gives us 5. 1 plus 5 gives us 6. 1 there comes down. This is 165. So meaning we hear there are 3 times 160. I think it's bigger than that number, meaning we stick to 2. So 55 can go into 137 two times. So you write your two on top there. Okay? You write your two there. Two multiplied by 55, the answer is already there, which is 110. So you write your 110 there. From here, you subtract. Seven take away zero, your answer is seven. Three take away one, the answer is two. One take away one, your answer is zero. Can 55 go into 27? Definitely no. All right, so what are you going to do? Remember there's a decimal point there, but we are going to ignore that decimal point. We bring our five there. We bring down our five there. We are going to ignore this decimal point. We are going to treat this number as a whole number. So we are going to treat this number as 275. So how many times here we added 165, we ended at 3. Let's add another one, another 55. So 55 plus 55. So 5 plus 5, that is 10. So here we get uh, 0, we carry 1. 5 plus 6, that is 11 plus 1, that is 12. So you write your 2, carry 1. 1 plus 0 is 1 plus the 1 that you carry, that is 2. So that's 222. What number do we have? 275. Okay, let's try to add another more. So we have 5 again, 5. And then we add there. So what is 5 plus, uh, plus 5? 5 plus 0, that is 5. And then 2 plus 5, that is 7. 2 plus 0 there, your answer is 0. So we ended on 3, meaning here we added 1, 5, 155, meaning this is 4. Again here we have, uh, we have added another 55, this is 5. Is this what you are looking for? Actually it's exactly the, the exact number, so 275. Uh, 5, 55 can go to 275 five times. So you write your 5 there. Again the 55, you, the 5, you, you multiply it by the 55. Okay, so what do we get when we multiply uh, this? We are going to get the same number, which is 275. So from here, what do we do? We subtract. So what is 5? Take away 5, 0. 7 take away 7, 
we get zero. To take away two, we get zero. So that is the end of our division. So this is how we divide. With division, we just divide normally, just like the way we divide. But the only thing we have to take note is the decimal point. We have to make our divisor a whole number whereby we get rid of the decimal point so that we start dividing. So this is what we are actually supposed to do. So we do that. Um, uh, we actually divide like that. All right, so this is how we usually divide. So that's the end of this lesson. Uh, in my next lesson, I'm going to cover more on um, uh, the other parts, the other components of decimal, 